Hello and happy Women's History Month, Session 1 from Virginia Miller. I want to talk about how I overcame the addiction of bad men. There's a lot going on out here where people want to, you know, be on the side of, you know, the bad stories, the gossip and stuff, the stuff that we women already know about. Millions of women already experienced. I don't want to talk about that. I want to talk about how I came over the heel of bad men. How I have been delivered and set free clean for 13 years from bad men. You know, the tall, dark, and handsome theory. You know, the tall, dark, and handsome theory. How I came over that. I prayed a lot. I became a grandmother. I asked God to fi to fix it for me, to change my life. I didn't want my granddaughter to experience the things that my daughters had experienced with me. I had five husbands. That's a book in itself. Five different men, five different personalities. The good thing about me, I didn't stay. When I realized that they all was lying to me, that they all was one was a narcissist, one was a drug dealer, one was a drug addict, one was a liar, and one was everything. The last one was the, the complete fool, which like my mother said, the total package, everything. When I digested all of that, I left. I left houses with clothes, cars in the garage, computers, personal, I, like I left everything behind just to get my peace. I didn't care nothing about materials. I didn't care nothing about anything that the average person would be worrying about with sticking with a crazy man. This is Woman's History Month. I am a strong woman. I'm, I'm telling y'all this month how a strong woman moves. I move with God. Every time I prayed, I asked God because, see, I was honest going into my situations. I was wholeheartedly honest going into my situations. And I was the one who was mistreated and lied on and tried to be, they tried to abuse me because I am who I am. You know, those men that try to break you down, try to tear you down, try to make you less than a woman so that they can, you know, all of the characteristics. I've seen them. I've known them. I've experienced them. All because I thought that I was getting a spouse to be side by side with me or either lead me and neither did I receive. That's why I said I have five husbands, but I haven't been married yet. Understand? Because being from a two-parent home and a great father who showed what a man looks like and uncles who show what a man looks like, and a grandfather who show what a man's look like, and so many other people, godfathers, who show what a man look like. I know what a man looks like. And I'm sorry to myself that I didn't wait on that man. And so I'm here to give you a 30-day woman's history series of my life, of how I've been delivered, and I've been clean for 13 years, from this type of behavior. And number one, I had to seek God with all that I had. Number two, I had to change my ways, look myself in the mirror and say, is it you? The problem. Because see, I never blame any of my husbands. Are you the problem, Regina? And I had to tell myself, yes, I'm the problem. You know why? Because I keep choosing these types of men. Something is wrong with me mentally. What is it that I'm trying to get from these men? Why am I talking to these men? Why is this who I'm attracted to? Because clearly they weren't attracted to me. They were attracted to my outside, but they were never trying to get to know my inside. So I am trying to get my sisters younger than me to hear this story so that they'll know the red flags. Please don't ignore the red flags. Never ignore the red flags. That is God talking to us. 
The devil is not going to give you signs and wonders because the devil wants to do these things. Rob, steal, kill, and destroy us at every chance. If you're a powerful woman, if you're a great woman, if you're an honorable woman, if you're a spectacular lady, boss lady, whatever you are, the devil does not want that. If you take care of your children, the devil does not want that. If you try to do the best you can, the devil does not want that. So he will bring these distractions. And it's always going to be what we want, not what we need. What we want, not what we need. Hey, the enemy knows what we want. And he's going to bring it to you like a slithering snake. There you go. There you go. And we were, ooh, he fine. That was me. Ooh, he fine. Ooh, tall, dark, and handsome. Ooh. Sex. We love sex. Good sex. That The bad boy sex. That's what we want. Being real, keeping it real here, sisters. Because I need my younger sisters to understand that sometimes that ain't it. And if you want that, don't make it a relationship if you know and you see that this person, if that's all he has for you is sex, then that's what you get. The Go get the sex. Don't make him a husband. Don't make him a, a stepfather. Don't make him a father where you know all he can give you is sex. And I had to learn these things. So I'm coming to you with this. And I'll be back tomorrow with another session. I hope this is the best of the first session. God bless everyone. I'm just trying to help my younger sisters to get better and do better. I, Regina Miller, am 13 years clean from bad men.